गुड इवनिंग दिस इज ऑल इंडिया रेडियो एंड आई एम अनुजा कुमार विद द न्यूज एट नाइन द हेडलाइंस इलेक्शन कमीशन टीम लेड बाय चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ओ पी रावत रिव्यूज प्रिपेयरनेस फॉर अपकमिंग असेंबली इलेक्शन इन तेलंगाना अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड पेट्रोल पंप एंड सी एन जी डिस्पेंसिंग यूनिट्स रिमेन शट इन नेशनल कैपिटल इन प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट डेली गवर्नमेंट्स रिफ्यूजल टू रिड्यूस वैट ऑन पेट्रोल एंड डीजल नंबर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स रिटर्न रजिस्टर्स ओवर एटी परसेंट ग्रोथ इन लास्ट फोर फाइनेंशियल ईयर्स India and Croatia signed two agreements to promote cultural and diplomatic cooperation. European Commission urges US and Russia to pursue talks to preserve nuclear weapons treaty. And in sports, Bajrang Punia to grapple with Takuto Otogoro of Japan for gold in the final of 65 kg World Wrestling Championship in Budapest tonight. The full election commission of India led by chief election commissioner OP Rawat held a meeting with representatives of political parties in Hyderabad today to review preparedness for the upcoming Telangana assembly elections it held separate meetings with the representatives of all recognized political parties including BJP BSP CPI CPIM Congress MIM TDP and TRS the 11 member high level team including election commissioner sunil arora and ashok lavasa reached hyderabad this evening on a 3 day visit to the state telangana is scheduled to go to polls on the 7th december more from a correspondent the full election commission of india reached hyderabad with a heavy agenda on its hand ahead of assembly elections in telangana the high level team will be in hyderabad for next 3 days and review the poll preparedness that like deployment of personnel measures to ensure fair elections and relevant training to the poll personnel on the first day the commission interacted with the representatives of all recognized parties the commission will hold a day long interaction with the district electoral officers and superintendents of police from all districts tomorrow the commission will also meet authorities of income tax excise and transport departments besides the state authorities before concluding its 3 day visit to the poll bound telangana the day after lakshmi ar news hyderabad Around 400 petrol pumps and CNG dispensing units remain shut in the national capital today in protest against the Delhi government's refusal to reduce VAT on fuels. In a statement, the Delhi Petrol Dealers Association said the pumps will remain closed till 5 a.m. tomorrow. Last month, the central government slashed the rate of petrol and diesel by two rupees and fifty paise per liter each. This was followed by reduction of VAT by various states, including Haryana and Uttar Pradesh. However the Delhi government refused to reduce the VAT as a result fuel became more expensive in Delhi than in two bordering states hitting out at Delhi chief minister Arvind Kejriwal for not reducing tax on fuel Delhi BJP president Manoj Tiwari said 100 out of 400 petrol pumps in the city are on the verge of closure as customers have started buying fuel from neighboring states दिल्ली में एक पैसे का भी वैट कम नहीं किया जबकि केंद्र की सरकार भी वो जनता को राहत देना चाहती है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी से मैं प्रार्थना करता हूँ वैट को कम करो क्योंकि पूरे दिल्ली के लोग जनता से जुड़ा मामला है त्राई त्राई कर रहे प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी टुडे अटेंडेड द फोर्थ एडिशन ऑफ नीति लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज एट विज्ञान भवन इन न्यू डेली द की नोट एड्रेस वॉज डिलीवर्ड बाई जैन सिंह हुआंग प्रेजिडेंट एंड को फाउंडर ऑफ NVIDIA Corporation This year's theme was artificial intelligence for all leveraging artificial intelligence for inclusive growth Union ministers policy makers and experts along with Niti Aayog vice chairman and other senior officials attended the event Congress president Rahul Gandhi today alleged that the central government could not provide sufficient employment to the youth and failed to keep its promises Addressing a public meeting at Raipur today, Mr. Gandhi kicked off the party's election campaign in Chhattisgarh. Meanwhile, BJP has announced a list of its star campaigners for assembly elections in the state. As per the list, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, BJP President Amit Shah, and other senior leaders of the party are among the star campaigners. 
Senior Congress leader P. Chidambaram said that the party has never said officially that its president Rahul Gandhi should be the prime minister if an opposition alliance formed the next government. Talking to a TV channel, Mr. Chidambaram said the Congress's focus was on dislodging the BJP government and bringing in a progressive alternative. He said the decision on who will be the Prime Minister in the event of an opposition alliance winning next year's Lok Sabha election poll will be taken by its constituents. BJP today attacked Congress following the registration of a rape case against former Kerala Chief Minister Uman Chandi, saying that Congress President Rahul Gandhi should now stop mocking Beti Bachao Beti Padhao scheme. Party spokesperson Minakshi Lekhi said Uman Chandi and another accused former Union Minister K.C. Venugopal are Mr. Gandhi's friends and the opposition party should answer on such a serious charge against them. Meanwhile, Congress has said it will not defend or protect anybody and the law should take its due course in the matter. The number of income tax returns filed in the last four financial years has registered a growth of over 80%. The number was 3.79 crore in the financial year 2013-14, which has increased to 6.85 crore in 2017-18. According to direct tax statistics released by the CBDT today, the number of taxpayers showing income above 1 crore rupees has also registered a sharp increase of 60% in four years. The CBDT said there has been a constant growth in direct tax GDP ratio over the last three years. The ratio of 5.98% in the financial year 2017-18 is the best direct tax GDP ratio in the last 10 years. We spoke to senior editor Joyanto Roy Chaudhary. More or less, this reflects that the Indian economy is strengthening day by day. Though there are still worries, uh, the ratio of tax to GDP is still 5.98% in 2017-18. It means we still have a long way to go. The average ratio of an OECD country is usually about 9%. Similarly, we have to, in that case, look to try and see where untapped incomes can be taxed. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. You can also log on to our website, newsonair.nic.in. Pehle ye batao, haath kis kis ne dhoya hai? Kisi ne nahi? Chalo, tumhare haathon mein jadu chalate hai. बच्चों अपने हाथों को सही तरीके से साफ करो खास करके खाने से पहले और साफ हाथों का दम आजमाओ साफ हाथ में दम है यस स्वास्थ्य एवं परिवार कल्याण मंत्रालय द्वारा जनहित में जारी India and Croatia signed two agreements to strengthen cultural and diplomatic cooperation between the two countries. The agreements were signed after External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj met Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Croatia, Maria Pekcinovic Burik, in New Delhi this afternoon. Both leaders discussed ways to step up cooperation in trade and investment, health, science and technology, education, tourism and culture. Minister Burik reiterated Croatia's support for India's accession to the nuclear supplies group. Both sides affirmed their commitment to fight the scourge of terrorism, its financing and safe havens. The first India-China high-level meeting on bilateral security cooperation was held in New Delhi today. During the meeting, the two sides discussed issues of mutual interest, including bilateral counter-terrorism cooperation. An agreement on security cooperation was also signed by Home Minister Rajnath Singh and State Councillor and Minister of Public Security of China, Chao Keiji. President Ramnath Kovind today inaugurated a three-day Vishwas Shanti Ahinsa Samelan at Mangi Tungi in Nashik district of Maharashtra. Addressing the gathering, the President emphasized the relevance of the teachings in Jainism, which focuses on non-violence, 
More from our correspondent. The event has been organized by the Bhagwan Rishabh Day, 108th Street Vishal Kai Digambar Jain Murthy Nirman Committee. President Kovind spoke about the vital aspects of Jainism as how it emphasizes non-violence for human welfare. The President also said that in Jain tradition, the principle of Ahimsa, Dharma Dharma, is distinguished for the welfare of mankind. Jain Parampara ke teen lalat mein, Samyak Darshan, Samyak Yan, or Samyak Aachari. Pooja Teer Sankaro ne धर्म को पूजा के बाहर निकालकर व्यवहार या आचरण में लाने का मार्ग दिखाया और ये समझाया कि मानव के प्रति करुणावान और संवेदनशील होना ही धर्म है Mr. Kovind also spoke about the teaching of Bhagwan Mahavir's importance to a parigraha, which means not taking what is more essential to life. Kunal Shinde, AIR News, Nathik. A witness in the Kerala nun rape case, Father Korya Kos Katuthara, was found dead under mysterious circumstances in Punjab's Hoshiarpur district. Korya Kos had testified against accused former Jalandhar Bishop Franco Mulakal in the rape case. Police said the cause of the death of Korya Kos would be known after post-mortem. They said no visible injury marks were found on the body. They said the police was investigating the case from all the angles. Meanwhile, supporters of the rape victim urged the Kerala government to provide security to the complainant in view of the mysterious death of a key witness in the case. Prime Minister Janya Arogya Yojana Ayushman Bharat provides free medical treatment up to 5 lakh rupees per year to more than 10 crore families, totaling about 50 crore people. In Jharkhand, Ayushman Bharat is proving beneficial to the poor. Here is a ground report from our correspondent. The poor of Jharkhand are getting benefits of medical treatment under Prime Minister Jan Arogi Yojana, Ayushman Bharat. In Hajaribagh district, five hospitals have been enlisted for this. We visited the hospitals to find out about the scheme. Loknath works as a manual worker in the clean factory and he is happy that his pregnant wife's treatment and operations were done completely free under Ayushman Bharat. Pradhan Mantri Ayushman Yojana ke tarak se jo operation hua hai, swam khush hai aur us operation mein paisa nahi laga. Ayushman jo yojana hai, wo garibu ke liye achhi hai aur is yojana se ilaj kara paati hai. Similarly, Jirwa Devi of Badka Gaon is being treated for stomach pain under this scheme. We have to take care of this disease. 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 It is a benefit for the disease. Hospital manager Neil Kamal Pathak told that after Ayushman Bharat was launched last month, अभी तक हम लोगों ने आयुष्मान भारत के तहत 18 से 20 ऑपरेशन सफलता पूर्वक हम लोगों ने कर दिया है और यहाँ पे जो भी पेशेंट आते हैं वो खुशी खुशी यहाँ से अपना सारा इलाज करा के जा रहे हैं। So it is clear that आयुष्मान भारत scheme is providing big medical relief to the poor. राजेश सिन्हा, AIR News, Rachi. The European Commission today urged the United States and Russia to pursue talks to preserve a Cold War-era nuclear weapons treaty after President Donald Trump said Washington was withdrawing from the deal. Spokeswoman Maya Kochiancic told reporters in Brussels that U.S. and the Russian Federation need to remain in a constructive dialogue to preserve this treaty and ensure it is fully and verifiably implemented. On to sports now, Bajrang Punia will clash with Japan's Takuto Otogoru in final of the Senior World Wrestling Championships in Budapest, Hungary tonight. He won a bronze medal in the 2013 edition of the tournament. If Bajrang manages to win gold, it will be a rare achievement to win titles at all major championships in a single season. The News Services Division of Old India Radio in its weekly bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, will bring you a discussion tonight on Teoharo Ke Doran Khan Paan Sambandhi Sabdhanya. This can be heard on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.30 p.m. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Election Commission team led by Chief Election Commissioner O.P. Rawat reviews preparedness for upcoming Assembly elections in Telangana. Around 400 petrol pumps and CNG dispensing units remain shut in national capital in protest against Delhi government's refusal to reduce VAT on petrol and diesel. Number of income tax returns registers over 80% growth in last four financial years. European Commission urges US and Russia to pursue talks to preserve nuclear weapons treaty and in sports, Bajrang Punia to grapple with Takuto Otogoru of Japan for gold in the final of wrestling championship in Budapest tonight. 
and with that we end the news at 9 good night